Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the concept of factorization of polynomials. We have already seen what are polynomials in our previous lecture. Why we do factorization? Factorization is basically helpful in order to uh, uh, simplify the complicated expressions. Okay, so factorization is, is used when you are given with an expression that is hard to uh, um, uh, simplify, then you basically convert it into the simpler form. We will came across the different methods of factorization in our next few lectures. But today we will see the first method of factorization that you can do when you will be given with an expression. For example, 5a minus 15b plus 10c. Okay. The first thing you have to do while you are given with any polynomial is to check whether we can take any common factors out of it or not. Okay. The, so, the first step is in for factorization of any polynomial is to check common factors. If you are not given with any method that you have to find the factors by, common, by finding common factors or by uh, making groups or by using identities, then you have to do this first step is to check, first check, common factors are there or not. Okay. Now, in this equation, it is clear that the variables are different. Okay. So, there is no common variable in the three terms. Okay. But when we talk about these constants, it is um, obvious that they are the multiples of 5. It means we can take the common factor out of them in order to make it a further irreducible expression. Currently, we are just understanding the concept of the common factors. Then I will tell you how to find the common factors in a proper way. So, in this given expression, we have 5 in common. So, we can solve it as 5a minus 15b plus 10c. So, we can take the 5 common. So, what left with a? It's 1. We can write 1 or not. Minus 5 3s are 15 plus 5 2s are 10. So, now the expression that we have got after uh, taking the common factor 5 is this and this expression is further irreducible. Okay. So, we cannot further reduce it. So, these are the fact two factors of the given expression. Let's discuss the method of taking common factors step by step. If you are given with an example, we will write as we will describe the step by step process by using the example. Factorize 9xy minus 12x square y plus 18y square. You will be given with an expression like this. Now, the step one you have to do with this expression is you have to find the GCF, greatest common factor. Okay, but how? Let's check it out. You have to do what? You have to write all the terms like 9xy, 12x square y and 18y square like this. Okay, now you have to write what? You have to write the factors. Now 9xy can be written as 9. First, we will break the 9. 9 have the factors. We will write it like, like this. 3 3s are 9. 3 1s are 3. Then we have 12. We will write the factors. 3 4s are 12. 2 2s are 4. 2 1s are 2. Then we have 18. 2 9s are 18. 3 3s are 9. 3 1s are 3. Okay. Now, we will break these expressions into the factors as we will write 9xy is equals to First, we will replace 9. 9 will be replaced by 3 dot 3 and x and y will be written as it is. Okay. Then we have a 12. 12 is replaced by 3 dot 2 dot 2 dot. Then we have x square. x square will be x dot x and then we write y. Then we have 18. 18 can be written as 2 dot 3 dot 3 and the y square can be written as y dot y. Now, we will see what is the GS, GCF of these three terms? Now, the common factor here is this one, okay, and this one. So, for GCF, you have to check what is the factor that is common in all the terms, okay. So, the GCF came out here is 3 dot y that is equals to 3y. This means the 3y is the common factor in all the three terms, okay. So, this is the step one. 
Now, what is the step 2? Step 2 is break each term as a product of G GCF and, uh, and the other number. It depends. So, let's see how you can do this step. This step can be performed as we were having 9xy equals to equals to what is GCF? GCF is 3y that is the common in all the 3 and 9x how you can make 9xy? We have 3y. So, what, what left here? We, we can take the remaining terms from here. We have got what 3 and y what left is 3x so we'll write 3x here okay then what term is 12x square y okay we'll write 3y that is gcf and what left is we will see from above step 1 in step 1 we what we got 3 and y what left is 2 into 2 4 and x into x square left is 4x square Okay, then the last term is 18y square. Okay, we will write 3y as it is. And what is the remaining terms? Let's see from the step 1. We have got 3 and y. And what left? 3 into 2, 6 and y. It means the le uh, what left is 6y. So, this is how we have broken the terms into two parts but one is the that is the combination of the GCF and the other number okay now what is the step 3 step 3 is factor out the GCF it means you have to take the common factor out okay so we will write the equation again here the, or the question again we will write the question again here as question was 9xy minus 12x square y plus 18y square. In step 2, we were at breaking each term into a combination of GCF and the other number. Okay. So, the word that was 3y into 3x minus 3y into 4x square plus 3y into 6y. So, this was all about how we have broken the each term into a combination of GCF and the other. So now, here, what is GCF? This is GCF that is the common in all the three terms. So, we have to take it out or you can say we have to take the GCF as common. 3y is here and the remaining term can be written as 3x minus 4x square plus 6y. So, this is the result of the factorization of the given number as by using the three step method where we have got an expression that is now irreducible and we need not to further factorize it. So, this is the method of finding the factorization of the given number uh, by uh, factorization of a number if they can have the uh, if they have the common factors. This method is applicable only in case all the terms that are given have the common factors. In case the terms do not have the common factors, we will discuss what, what you will have to do in the next lecture, which, text, which method you have to adopt. So, 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 stay tuned for that. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please do not forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.